We kick off today's program with puzzles. Not flat jigsaw puzzles, but the 3D kind that you hold in your hand and try to take apart for hours or weeks before you throw it against the wall in frustration. <laughs> okay, maybe that's just me. Who develops these infuriating brain twisters and who can solve them? We decided to find out. Aksha! Danny! Danny! Oh! Oh, hi! Hi, I'm Akira Daniel Duncan. And uh, if I'm looking really tired, that's because I didn't get much sleep last night. And this here is what kept me up. It's actually a puzzle, and it's extremely difficult. So I'm in the famous district of Akihabara, and I'm going to visit the company that makes these and see what kind of evil geniuses are behind this complicated design. So let's go. Hmm. Oh, wow, NHK World. Looks like they've been expecting me. Oh, hello. Hi. Are you from this company? Hi. Oh, wonderful. I have been struggling with this all night. Uh, could you show me how it's done? <laughs> wow, just like that. You make it look so simple. Hanayama has been in business for over 80 years, manufacturing games and toys. Teddy Sakamoto is in charge of development, and he was kind enough to show me around. The company produces ordinary puzzle rings, but these metal puzzles are what made them world famous. Called Huzzle, they have fans in over 50 countries around the world. They're referred to by the company name Hanayama in the US and other countries. Apparently, there are currently 52 designs. And this is the one that stole my sleep last night. Well, I'm still going around in circles. Could you show me exactly how this is done? Oh, yeah. yeah. With this puzzle, a star-shaped piece is trapped inside a ring. It's a tricky piece, and the secret is that the length and thickness of each star point is slightly different. This <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the spike. That's the short one. Nope, it's not it. Aha! I figured it out. Uh, would you mind showing me one more? This one right here? These seem to bring out the kid in me, but being told the answer does reduce the satisfaction of solving it. While he teaches me how to solve the next one, let's review the history of these puzzles. The puzzles were given the name Huzzle last year. It's a portmanteau of Hazusu, which means take off in Japanese, and puzzle. Some are based on cast puzzles that originated in England over 100 years ago during the Industrial Revolution. The company employs designers around the world. Sakamoto carefully examines their designs, makes a few adjustments when needed, and commercializes them. Molds used to be carved out of wood or shaped with clay. However, we're told that the past several years have brought big changes. 2010、10年くらいからですかね。あの、ま、パソコンとかあるいは3D turns out that this brain teaser was designed by a programmer. Okay. Wow, this one has three rings. I don't know, this one looks really complicated. <laughs> oh. Oh, hola. Mucho gusto. Adrian is from Spain and is currently studying mathematics at the University of Tokyo. He picks up the most complicated puzzle and works his magic. And 
This is the final step. <laughs> you will have the three pieces apart. He solves one puzzle after another. Oh, so wow. These two came out at the same time. And here's the one with the peculiar design that we saw earlier. You can spin these pieces around and they come out, they come out apart like this. Oh, wow, that, that is quite surprising. And it's very beautiful too. It is. I don't know if I would ever figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> he says that he enjoys them because it's like physically tackling a mathematical problem. Before I left, I asked Mr. Sakamoto to sum up Huzzle's appeal. That was a lot of fun and definitely got my brain in a twist. The harder it is, the more satisfying it is when you finally solve it. And because they're artistic, you can display them as conversation pieces. And now that I know how to solve a couple, I think I have some sleep to catch up on. This is Akira Daniel Duncan, reporting for Great Gear. Back to you, Matthew. It is said that perseverance is a national quality of Japanese people. That certainly seems to be true for at least one of Hanayama's customers who called in for the answer to a puzzle after struggling with it for seven years. The puzzles aren't just for personal fun. Some companies here use them as part of their interview process to see how potential employees respond when faced with difficult problems. 